again, YouTubers. So this is a review on a product from Hourglass that came out a little while ago and all the hype was crazy about it and everybody fell in love with it and talked about it and reviewed it. And I was kind of a little late on the bandwagon of A, purchasing them and then B, reviewing them. But I feel as if it is a permanent item, so it is worth the time to let you guys know what my thoughts are on these. Um, I did pick up three of them. One I did not like, um, and this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I have two, Mood Exposure, which is more of a pinky color. And very, very pretty, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Very wearable, and then Dim Infusion which is a beautiful peach tone, which is what I have on my cheeks right now here today. It's just a beautiful flush color. Uh, great for that springtime, you know, where you're doing more like, I have more of like a bronze eye and not as much eyeliner and things like that. So keeping it a little bit more natural on the face. Um, I also got the one that was called, I think, Luminous Finish, and it was a really bright pink, and it was just too much for me. Even with the right brush, it just wasn't something that I was going to grab for, whereas these two I do grab for on a daily basis. I haven't hardly used many other blushes since I have received or purchased these um, and gotten them in. I just really fell in love with them. So I had first picked up the brighter pink one and Mood Exposure, and... I got them and I loved mood exposure and then I started watching the reviews just as all of you do the reviews and the thoughts you know first thoughts videos and you know the whole breakdown of all the different colors and that's when I realized that the dim infusion really would be one that I liked at first when I looked at it online I thought it was going to be too light wasn't going to work with my skin tone or too peachy and I just didn't think it was going to work because I do tend to falter on the side of more pink blushes than p true peach blushes. I like ones that have a little bit of a peach to them, but not too much. And this is honestly the peach one, the Dim Infusion, is honestly one of my most favorite blushes I have been using lately. I use it almost every day. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. It just, I will put a swatch here of both of the colors next to each other so you can see them. The top one is the Mood Exposure. The bottom one is the Dim Infusion. Now the basis of these blushes is that the, um, it is a blush mixed in with some of the Hourglass Ambient Powders. Um, and what the powders, I have one powder and I have dim light, and this is what it looks like, and to give you an idea size-wise, the blushes are much smaller than the, um, you know, face setting powders, and I like this, but I was not never like, wow, that's so great, you have to go get it, and it's funny that dim is one of them, because that's one here, um, in one of these as well. Now, interestingly enough, how they named them was, so dim is the ambient lighting powder and infusion is the color of the blush so mood is the ambient powder and exposure is the blush and they swirl them together and you can kind of see in here just the my, because I ran my finger over to you can see a little bit of the the difference in the two going through there I will say one of the issues right now is the fact that I used my finger to swatch. There you go, you'll be able to see it better now. See the difference? Um, I tend to use, um, I just put some on here right now, the my Chanel Powder Number no. 1 brush, and I just simply tap it on my cheeks. Here, let me take that color off because it's a different color. But I just simply tap it on my cheeks and work my way up into my hairline. And it is very, very, very easy to use. They are fairly foolproof um, because of the fact that they have the two powders mixed in together. It gives you a nice sheen. It is not sparkly or glittery like some blushes are. It just has a beautiful sheen to it. Um, and it definitely has that glow to your cheekbones without you having to put a highlight or anything. I mean, you can see a little bit right here on my cheekbone. I have no additional highlighter on today. It is just the blush. But because those two powders are mixed in together, it also gives you that ability to kind of put it on and play with it and move it around a little bit more. Um, it is not just one solid color of blush, which is really nice. Now, the ambient lighting powders, um, 
I thought this one was fine. I like it. I use it. Um, but I didn't go out of my way to get any more of them because I preferred the Guerlain um, Meteorite Pearls. I just prefer those. So I wasn't sure if I was going to like the blushes. So I was very, 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 I can't speak, um, impressed with these. And I am glad that I got these two. I don't think I'll pick up any other colors unless they come out with a new color for a collection or in a line or something like that. These two seem to suit my usage the best. They work for me in the colors tones that I tend to use the most and they just work with my skin tone the best and they will work through all seasons. Um, but I am truly, truly impressed with these and I really am enjoying them. Um, I think they're a very nice blush that if you have not yet tried them, is definitely one to give a try to. Um, they are $35, which I think is fairly middle of the road for price. It's not ridiculously priced. It's not a $50 blush, but it's not a $15 or $20 blush. I think it's a decent price though. So pigmentation on these, I think the pigmentation is great. They are so easy to work with, but they still produce a good amount of color. The reason I originally ordered that brighter color is I thought they weren't going to show up as much because of the ambient powders being inside of it as well. So I thought that I was going to have to go with a brighter color, but definitely didn't. They just are beautiful pigmentation, five out of five texture. They are so smooth, so easy to work with. Pick up the right amount of color. You can use any type of brush that you like and it just really is a nice, nice texture and really, really nice. Five out of five. Longevity, it stays on me all day. I've never had any issues. I never felt like I had to really touch up or anything like that. If I wore it all day and I was going out to dinner, I might put a little bit more on, but that was just more to, because I end up touching up foundation and putting powder on, so it dulls it down, not because the product didn't last. So longevity is good, four and a half out of five, um, apple, but I don't usually have trouble with them staying anyway. Blushes usually stay fine on me. Application, as I said, very easy to apply. You can use any brush you want. I use my Bobbi Brown blush brush. I use my Chanel powder brush number one. I use the MAC 129, I think it is called. Um, pretty much any brush I have has worked beautifully with these brushes. Um, really, really great. So application is easy to do. So good five out of five. Packaging, I think their packaging is beautiful. My only problem with it is I get fingerprints all over it and it looks dirty to me and I hate that. I'm always wiping them off before I use them like to get them cleaned up so that drives me crazy. Um, so packaging for me is a four out of five because that's why I only turn back to them. Price, as I said, they are $35. Um, middle of the road, not super expensive, but not inexpensive or a great deal either. So, you know, they're just kind of middle of the road. They're like a three and a half out of five. So product overall in this, this is a good four, four and a half out of five for me. It's a good solid product. If you find the right colors, it is definitely an amazing blush to have in your collection and so easy to use and just very, very, very user friendly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes in both Mood Exposure and Dim Infusion. Please let me know if you have any other questions and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.